Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Dicart, and this is episode 12 of my Medieval Dynasty Let's Play. So I, I finished up in town, or in my town, in my village, at home, and I built the third simple house. So now there's an empty house, so I want to recruit someone else to come work at, uh, at the village. Um, and then I also made a bunch of stone knives on my way to town, so I'm hoping to sell those and get enough money to complete Alwyn's quest. However, it is getting late, so I'm hoping I could get over, kill the bear, and get back before it gets too dark. But I might not be able to. Um, and unfortunately, it is uh, is the end of the season. So if I can't get back in time, I'm, I'm kind of going to end up right back at my village. So we will see. Okay, so hey, do you have a minute? Hunting. Okay, five. We want to get this guy above 75. Okay. How have you been? Oh, it didn't help. Ah, oh, he's only 70%. Okay. Um, she wouldn't be bad. This guy looks really good. He's at 64. He likes the weather comment, and that put him... Okay. So, Dalemer. See you there. All right, so we've got a new guy for our village. So we're going to want him because he's got, I assume this is farming, fishing, hunting. He's really good at hunting. And that's mining, I think. So we might want to try him at farming and see if he succeeds where Berta didn't. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's say... Barn, assign worker, assign Dalmer as a field worker, and see, I don't know if this is, see, I think this is work in the barn, so field worker, why would this pop up? I don't, I don't get that. Maybe that's my problem, is I need to. Maybe this is, oh no, this is production, and this is assignments. Okay, so we need to assign. Oh, see, there's no workers to do that. So this is making the grain. Yeah, so I, I, think, I think the field work is just literally let him go. So we'll have to see if he starts working on the fields. I still don't know what's missing. But anyway, we need to sell as quickly as we can and go talk to Alwyn. We're going to sell all of those and one of those. I don't know why I have my scythe on me. Whoops. And let's just sell those and those. All right, so we have 517, and Alwyn needed 200. So we're going to get out here. I think we're going to run out of time. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. But I want to try it. If I'm lucky, it'll be just run, kill the bear really quick, and come right back. But we'll find out. Okay, Alwyn. Next tournament. Where does this change come from? We've been through this before. Gained a lot of confidence. A bear. I know. I can try. As nice as that sounds, I'd prefer something more value. This sounds very tempting. Okay, here we go. 200 coins. And can you point me at some bear? You try the southeast. They like to settle in caves and near reservoirs. I already knew that. So... I'm looking, I wish you could mark waypoints. I'm looking to go, where was that cave at? Right here. Okay, so run up here, follow the road up, and basically just keep running south, slightly west, actually not southeast. wonder if there's more bears to the southeast somewhere over here. 
I don't know. I've never been down there. But I'm going to go to the one I, I know is there. That's this guy. So, yeah, we're just kind of hoping, beyond all hope, we can get there and get the bear killed and get back before it gets too dark. So I'm just kind of, that's why I'm just like trucking cross country. Hopefully I won't run into wolves and stuff. I need this to be a singular thought. Don't stop and pick anything up. Don't do anything except just get to this cave. Hi, right, Mr. Rabbit. You're lucky I'm in a hurry. Okay. And then let's stop and check our map. I don't think time moves while you're in this screen. We are actually heading perfect right for it. Grab a quick drink because I am pretty thirsty. All right, and keep going. Just basically following the stream till we get to this road. And then we follow the road. Okay. I think we're going to get it. The bear's just up around the corner right here. Let's see, I, I need stamina. We killed this bear between episodes last time for that other quest. It was scary, though. Well, shoot, if he's not going to chase me down. That was it. We got the bear. And he fell down nice and convenient. So we're going to head back to Alwyn. And hopefully he'll still be there. But we got some arrows back. Excellent. This cave is going to have to become a a normal place for us, though, because we're going to, once we get a pickaxe, we're going to have to come get iron from here. So I know it's getting dark here. Let's pull out this torch. Hopefully all one's there and I can complete it during the evening. And if he has the thing that he normally has where it's just like, come back the next day, that'll be good because <laughs> next day he'll come pretty fast. I've got to also remember to talk to Berta in my village every morning until I can convince her to marry me. The other option is talk to one of the other women in town here also and see which one I can propose to first and... Well, not proposed to, but which one would accept my proposal first? Okay, this is where we started the game. This is the exact run from the first part of the game. Just a dude running with a torch. I'd sing... Uh, chariots of fire or something, but uh, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> All right, Alwyn, here we go. Hi, someone ordered a big bad bear? You don't know how to win. Really? I thought it's the only thing I can do. <laughs> Jeez, I am a jerk. All right, that's enough. Oh, I got one longbow from it. Okay, here's my bow. You've earned it because you're better than me. You always have been. You don't have to give it to me. I just like to compete. No, you won fair and square, and I don't deserve it. I should go back to work in the field as I had been taught all my life. Are you serious? Yes, and don't try to change my mind. Dreams are beautiful, but real life has something completely different. It's all right. If that's what you really want, at least you've had an adventure, right? This is true, and I thank you for that. Now it's time for me to get back to my duties. Take care of yourself, my friend. See you later.
wait for next season, which is tomorrow. That was kind of weird, though, right? Like, it's just like, eh, I'm done. Well, my current longbow is at 50%, so at least I got one there. So really, if I would have purchased or created just a regular bow, I would have got the longbow after after doing his quests, although that would have been tough, because having to shoot that target with a regular bow would have been really tough. Okay. Erica. Um, approval 65. Have any gossip? Okay, she liked the gossip. Hunting tips plus two. Okay, she's at 77. Let's see if I can... How have you been? Oh, she liked that one. I admire your dedication to your work. She might not have a job. Your honesty. Oh, she didn't like the honesty one. Okay. Well, might as well talk to these guys while I'm here. All right. Um, so I've got him ready to go. I just don't have a place for him yet. Actually, let's try. Oh, well, look at that. So it looks like he will happily live with someone else. Look at that. He moved in with a, somebody else. Well, shoot. And he will, too. Dude, that is amazing. Before, I couldn't get that to work. Maybe it was because they were of the opposite sex, maybe? Let's see. This guy is only at 58. Oh, he's not He's not somebody I can recruit. And Ulrich is only at 70, but I've already talked to him, right? Oh, no. Any tips for hunting? 75. I would join you, but I need a house there. Okay, there you go. So Ulrich's ready to go, but needs a house. Excellent. And he's on his way. Let's go down here, grab a drink, and might as well just grab some reeds and stuff. Um, my thing right now is it's probably not worth running all the way home to try to sleep because it's almost you know time for the day to end anyway. So I might as well just do a little work. Or how much a torch sells for a simple torch might be worth doing that let's see oh wait it wouldn't be in there it would be in here simple torch sells for 10. it's not too bad though that's only oh yeah i take that back it's that means it's going to sell for far less than 10. Okay, um, maybe grab some sticks. Build us a quick campfire to just end the day. Okay, other campfire. Oh, we need more sticks even. Okay, and we're probably going to need to move away a little bit. There we go. And let's uh, sleep. We should wake up in our home. Yep. All right. So it's a new season. And there goes everybody. Look at that. We got three people. All right, Berta. Let's chat. I need to put these other guys to work. Um, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. You have beautiful eyes. Okay, she likes that. Let's keep that going. All right, so there's 15 points in one day. Oh, she didn't like the dress. Okay, so I have two guys right here that I can put to work. 
So this guy's definitely like a craftsman. So let's put him in the workshop. Assign worker, craftsman. Okay, and then we need to tell him what to work on, I think. So we want him to build what? Well, we can have him just build stone skinning knives. No resources for that, okay. Oh, he can build regular torches. Let's do that. I just don't know what's going to sell, because that's really what I want him to build, is stuff that I can just grab and go sell. But let's, let's go to the uh, skinny knife and pump that way up. There we go. All right, so we've got him working. And let's see, we have five people, including myself, so four. But we only have three working. So what we need is the hunting lodge, but we need them to be a gatherer, not a hunter. Um, oh, it's these two. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. So it's actually, well, he's a field worker. Berta. Okay, it's Berta we want. So Berta is going to be a gatherer, and I'm hoping I can tell her to gather rocks and sticks so that that other guy can make knives. Okay. Um, but that does mean that now we need... Let's see. Berta. Oh, she doesn't Gary gather rocks? Oh, I bet that's mining. Shoot. Okay. That's not going to work. Um, so what are Berta's stats? Let's, let's take a look here. Berta is actually pretty decent. Uh, uh, what is this? Oh, that's probably animals, taking care of animals. Fishing, we don't have any way to do fishing yet. Um, she would be just as good as anybody else hunting. So let's let's have her do that. So I assigned her as a gatherer before. Oh wait, no, no. Ooh, how do I do? I have to assign her. Maybe I have to assign her to a different. Let's put her on the barn, maybe. Assign worker, Berta. Farmer. Oh, I wonder if farmers... I wonder if field worker is... No, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave them both there like that. Let's see. Oh, wait. Um, okay, here we go. No resources, no resources. Okay, I don't I don't know. Let's uh let's head out and we have one more guy, right? Uh Jasonmir. And we want the wood. We want him collecting wood. So yeah. Can we look at oh let's assign a workplace this way. Okay. And woodshed. And he's going to be a lumberjack. Okay, and at the woodshed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get back. This is not the most intuitive interface. Um, at the woodshed, let's go in here. Lumberjack. 
Oh, we don't need that. We need this. Log, plank, firewood. So let's put up the firewood now that we have more people. We'll do that. So he should be gathering logs and making firewood. And that's everyone. Excellent. Look at that. We've got people working. Look at this. Oh, it's looking like a little village. I like it. And this guy's out. Look at He has a bag. And he's already fertilized. Is he going to fertilize the next one? Yes. Okay, so he's actually working on the farm, unlike Berta. So did Berta just come standing here doing nothing? She's doing something. Using up my grain, maybe? Um, let's look really quick and see what's happening in the barn. There's no production. All right, I'll leave Berta there for the moment, and I might switch her to hunting or something, or even more wood gathering. This guy's working here. Oh, I needed to get, I needed to get stuff so he'll make bows and arrows and stuff. So let's grab. Um, oh, we don't need that. We need feathers, leather, and sticks. And we're gonna put this stuff. In, uh, well, we'll put it in the main resources instead of just right here for him. Because I think that's where, it'll, well, you know what? Maybe he, maybe he will take it from here. Okay, and then we'll put this stuff in the resource shed. Oh, that's awesome we have this many people. I'm glad it's not one person per house. Excellent. And we're actually getting some planting done in our farms. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, I forgot to check. Do we have any firewood? We have some logs. We do not have firewood. So I am going to go make some myself because we want to make sure we keep these people happy. In fact, let's look. Yeah, 5757. So we want to keep our firewood and our food. That's our our biggest thing right now. Keep those up so that everyone's happy. Okay, so firewood. Might not even be able to carry it after this. We'll see. Then i got to check my quests and see what else I have. It's interesting because I've kept myself super busy so far. And I haven't even visited those other towns and and done like side quests and stuff for them really and there's even side quests in this main town i've been going to that i haven't done yet so it's kind of exciting knowing that there's that much more content available okay so we'll go in here and put the firewood in 28 firewood, and let's go check on the food really quick. Um, yeah, we still have plenty of roasted meat in there. That's really good. In fact, we can cook some more up really quick. Um, I also wanted to check. I put some food in here. Did it rot? Yes, I have some rot. That's going to be enough to make some fertilizer. So actually, on her job, so that would be the barn, we want to tell it to make fertilizer from rot. I think that's going to be our main, like, do that. All right, and then, oh. Do we still have a trap over here? Oh, we haven't built a new one. Let's grab these. What do we need for another trap? Oh, we need a lot more sticks. 
Let's make ourselves a trap. I hate not having one up. One more. Okay. We'll keep putting this over here. So far, no one's tripped on it. So that's good. All right, now let's... Uh, oh, we were going to go cook, weren't we? Cook some meat up. And then when we're done with the meat, we will look at our quests and see what we have to do. It's like it's kind of like I'm torn between do I continue and go questing or do I go out and work on my skills and stuff and like gather resources and just kind of keep building stuff up, build another house, things like that. And it's cool to have that many options. I really like it. Because whichever option you choose, you feel like the other one's sitting there waiting for you. So you don't, you know, you're not like having to give up on one of them. At least it doesn't seem that way. I haven't seen the quest necessarily go away. Okay. Anything in here? Might as well put this in here for lack of another place to put it. Um, we are just a little bit dirty, so let's wash up. So it looks like these guys will go two to house. So these houses are built for three people, but I think one, I think this bed's like for a child. So you can really only have two adults per house, I think. But one more house. If one more house will bring me in two more adults, that's good. Um, doesn't look like there's a population limit, but there's a building limit. And, of course, you know, I've got plenty of space. But the more buildings I build, the more taxes I'm going to have to pay. So that's definitely something to think about. Okay, how are we doing here? Look at that. Oh, production of fertilizer. It's going. It's going. And then what if I do this and look at the farms? Field one. Oh, look. Plowed and fertilized. He's almost done with that first field of cabbage. Oh, that is excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, what was I doing? Journal. Okay. Here we go. Have at least 10 inhabitants and have at least five workers. Oh, look at that, 2,500 dynasty rep and puts you to village size, which puts you at a 25 buildings limit. That's excellent. Okay, that's a good quest to be working on. Wait and talk to him. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is go here and I'm going to put this longbow away, this side of the way. Um... And then I'm going to put the meat in the food place. Excellent. And we should just go talk to Alwyn, I guess. Hey, dude, you're doing a great job starting on field number two, right? This isn't the... Yeah, these need fertilizer. And these are, he's seeding. And there's cabbage seeds. Yes, so I had not bought any cabbage seeds, I'm pretty sure. So he's taking care of that for me. Oh, that is excellent. Okay, I don't like the way this Alwyn quest is going. Um, I don't know, he kind of seems a little pissy. It's like, stop being a little baby. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. But uh, let's grab some stuff so I can build some more... Uh, stone knives to sell when I get to town. But yeah, so I'm going to go to town and see about talking with Alwyn and continuing that quest. In fact, I better bring it up so I remember. So that's my next uh, next item on the agenda.
But I'm going to take care of running to town between episodes because we've reached the end of our time. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. And I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Take care, everyone. <laughs>